what is divisibility? Divisibility is when you can divide two numbers evenly and have no remainder. A number is divisible by another number if it has no remainder when divided. Let's look at an example. Is 6 divisible by 2? So here I have 6 items. I'm going to divide them into groups of 2. And as I do this, you'll see that I have 3 groups of 2 with none left over. So 6 is divisible by 2. Is 6 divisible by 4? So again, if I make four items and then put them into groups of four or divide them into groups of four, you see I've only got one group of four with two left over. So six divided by four is one whole with a remainder of two. It is not divisible by four. So instead of actually dividing numbers to see if they're divisible, Certain numbers have shortcuts, so divisible by 2 is the easiest. All even numbers are divisible by 2, and you can recognize even numbers because they always end in the digits 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. Odd numbers are never divisible by 2. They're always going to have a remainder. And odd numbers, you can determine an odd number by the fact that the digit at the end is either going to be a 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. To determine if a number is divisible by 3, it's a little more work. You need to add all the digits of the number. And if that sum is divisible by 3, then the original number is divisible by 3. Example, is 426 divisible by 3? So add all the digits. 4 plus 2 plus 6 is 12. 12 can be divided by 3 because 12 divided by 3 is 4. That means since 12 can be divided by 3 evenly, 426 is also divisible by 3. To see if a number is divisible by 4, check if the last two digits are divisible by 4. Is 3,124 divisible by 4? All you need to do is check the last two digits, and the last two digits make the number 24. 24 is divisible by 4 because that's equal to 6. Since that's divisible by 4, the whole number, 3,124, is divisible by 4. Divisible by 5 is another easy one. All you need to do is check if the number ends in 5 or 0. The number 153 is not divisible by 5 because it ends in 3. But 155 is divisible by 5 because it ends in a 5. To check divisibility by 6, think about what makes 6. 6 is equal to 2 times 3. So a number, for it to be divisible by 6, it has to be divisible by 2 and 3. To be divisible by 9 is similar to being divisible by 3. You have to add all the digits and see if that sum is divisible by 9. Let's see if the number 6,075 is divisible by 9. We need to add the digits 6 plus 0 plus 7 plus 5. That sum is 18. 18 is divisible by 9. It goes into it two times. So that means the original number is divisible by 9. The last one, divisible by 10, is easy as well. Does it end in 0? If it ends in 0, it is divisible by 10. 103. 103 is not divisible by 10 because it ends in a 3. 130 is divisible by 10. It's 13 times 10. It ends in a 0.
is 5,480 divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, or 10. So let's start with 2. Look at the last digit. If it's even, it's divisible by 2. And it is even, so it is divisible by 2. Now, let's look at 3. Is 5,480 divisible by 3? So you need to add all the digits. 5 plus 4 plus 8 plus 0. And that equals 17. And 17 does not go, is not divisible by 3. But 6 remainder 1. That means that 3 does not go into 5,480 evenly. Right? Let's look at 4. To decide if it's divisible by 4, you look at the last two digits. If the last two digits are divisible by 4, then the original number is divisible by 4. This ends in 80. That can be divided by 4. That means that 5,480 is divisible by 4. To decide if it's divisible by 5, you look at the last digit. Is it a 5 or 0? Yes, it ends in 0. That means that 5 goes into this evenly. It is divisible by 5. Is it divisible by 6? It can only be divisible by 6 if it's divisible by 2 and 3. But since 3 isn't working for us here, we have to not count 6. 6 will not go into 5,480. Let's check 9. Add all the digits. We did that already for 3, and we saw that was 17. 17 can't be divided by 9. 17 divided by 9 is 1 remainder 8. So 9 does not go into 17. 9 does not go into 5,480. Last one. Is it divisible by 10? We look at the last digit. It ends in 0. It is divisible by 10. So 5,480 is divisible by 2, 4, 5, and 10. Now why are we learning this? Why is divisibility useful? Divisibility helps us decide if a number is prime or composite. Prime numbers only have 1 and itself as factors. The only way to make it is multiplying itself by 1. It has no other numbers that will go into it. So examples of primes would be like the number 3. 3 is prime because the only way you can multiply it with whole numbers is 1 times 3. Another example of a prime is 19. The only whole numbers that multiply to make 19 are 1 times 19. Composite numbers can be divided by more than just one in itself. So therefore, they have more than two factors. 20 is a composite number. And I can tell you this by just looking at the last digit. Because it ends in 0, I know that it can be divided by 10. I also know that it can be divided by 2 because it's even. I also know that because it ends in 0, it can be divided by 5. So these rules of divisibility help us find composite numbers.